Well, this is the latest delivery. So, what's in here? Oh, I'm going to the bubble wrap. Seems to be some kind of old projector. There's a surprise. Sixteen mil double puff. And of course, it's a Specto eBay purchase not working. Fan goes round, spindles don't go round, etc. Hmm. Well, let's set this up, plug it in, see what does happen. It was well packed. There is a little bit of evident damage here. It's just bent, but nothing that can't be sorted out probably. Without too much trouble, hopefully. Seller said he tried it, uh, so I was kind of hoping for a mains lead, but there doesn't seem to be one. The seller said that the fan was turning uh, but the spindles weren't and in fact the fan was turning at about one revolution per minute so almost nothing um, and the spindles appeared not to be turning uh, but in fact they were creeping along about one frame a minute so clearly there was a problem and I thought um, uh, maybe it's jammed up somewhere so I took the drive belt off and sure enough turn on the motor The motor is fine, seems to be. So um, I need to see what's binding the mechanism to stop the motor drive from being able to work. Turning the wheel that should be operating everything, it's really stiff. It does go around, but it's no wonder that the motor wasn't able to do that properly. So see why that's so stiff, don't know. The previous owner seems to have had an attempt at oiling at the other side. Um, don't think a little bit of oil on the claw arrangement is going to make any difference to something more substantial than that. Well, you'll notice the lighting arrangement. Um, as advertised, uh, there's no bulb, which is fine. Uh, if I had two or three of these resistors, I could build a nice toaster. But that's coming out, and I'll be putting in, assuming I can get this thing working, which is a fairly big assumption at the moment. If I don't, it'll be a box of useful spares, including arms for 900 foot spools but if I do get it going there will be an LED unit and this space will be fine for the little driver maybe a 50 watt LED would be fine for this one I've just been turning the mechanism around by hand without the belt on for quite a while to try and free things up it does seem to be a little easier so I'm plugged in and um, see if I can See what's going to happen now. It's going. Yeah, it's going. Seize up to A. Been running for a little while. I think it's probably not far off um, correct running speed now. I think it might be fine. There isn't a speed adjustment on this projector, not at the moment. There will be when I fit one, but um, it's designed for 16. There's two, which I think is a, you know, you're two frames a second analyzer position although this isn't the analyzer model and then zero so 
I think this is going to work. It seems like 20 pounds is well spent. It needs to be 30 at some point, and it's only had a wipe over, so uh, lots of cleaning. I've also got to um, make a slightly better arrangement for the mains input. That was an old Vulcan three pin socket. Uh, find something that will do the job of more likely hard wire cable in with a short connector. Then I can uh, fit one of my LED units. See if we can get a film to show. Interesting made in Britain projectors the specto I say interesting in that they were very popular very reliable had a good reputation for most of their time in a, a production which is quite a few years but there was something a bit boring Graham Noonan mentions this on his website his 95 website actually but he goes into detail on the specto and says um, that when he was a kid he, he wanted a Pathy 200B which looked more like a projector ought to look like and this is, you know, pretty bog standard kind of layout, and I think that was it, it's just a bit boring really. Uh, not sufficiently intriguing to a young mind. I felt the same actually when I was into projectors, but there are quite a lot of ingenious aspects to them. I like the fact that this lens holder comes out and you've got complete freedom to clean the gate, which by the way, uh, yeah, needs a good clean, but you know, that's to be expected. Um, that's fantastic. I don't have much in the way of 16mm silent, it's double perf, as you'll see from the sprocket, so it can only show double perforated films. Uh, the original silent 16mm format before the soundtrack took over one side and one row of perforations, but that's fine. No plans on going into 16mm sound. Been there, done that, and at the moment I'm not very interested. Right, well, uh, got a little film on there. See what happens. Probably running a bit slow, but perhaps not too slow, I don't know. It's approaching the necessary speed anyway. That's with the lever on 16. Now the thing is, because I just tried this, on two, it should be perhaps two frames a second, and it's it's clearly not. So whatever part of the clutch mechanism is supposed to um, operate there uh, doesn't seem to be. Let's put it on zero. I haven't tried this yet. Put it on zero and see what happens. Not going at zero either, so in other words, it's not not going. So, um, well, you know, that's not so important even if we can't fix that because it's 16 frames a second that we want. But it'd be interesting to know why that mechanism isn't working. And I shall endeavour to find out. Well, that's the area here where the uh, I've got no earth lead on at the moment, so hence the latex gloves. Um, that's that's the thing that's supposed to work on different clutch systems. It's currently on, on the zero setting. If I switch to the two setting, you see that there was a movement there. And that thing's going round and round. Switch to 16. catching it there so at least part of the mechanism is is operating um, but it's not actually stopping the claw presumably it would simply withdraw the claw uh, um, yeah it's actually got to stop the sprockets as well of course so mm, two frames a second or zero not working not important, but I do like to know what's going on. I've put an LED torch in here, just propped up. 
so there's a little bit of light inside and then uh, if we look through where the lens ought to be let's see if the camera can focus on that yeah it's getting the idea I think that's running about 12 or 14 frames a second. Um, I have to think about improving on that. A little bit of lubrication here and there. It's a funny thing, can't really see much movement on the image there because these old 16mm Kodograph travel films, this is one of them, seem to concentrate largely on showing subjects that didn't move. Oh, we've got a movie camera. Let's go and film the pyramids or the Sphinx or someone standing looking into the camera lens for 10 minutes. Um, so when we get some slightly better footage, we'll be able to perhaps see that a bit better in terms of judging the speed. When I went to rewind the film, it said here to rewind switch motor on and turn knob to rewind which I suppose that's the knob which I was assuming which I think it must be from what I remember from the olden days as well so I followed the instructions I switched the motor on and I turned the knob to rewind there was a horrible grinding noise and the belt flew off and um, everything went haywire and I quickly switched off I'm sorry you missed that I quickly switched off and then put that knob back to normal and put the belt back on and then rather gingerly tried the machine and it's now running at the correct speed figure that out anyway I'm sure that's running speed 16 frames a second sounds right so, whereas I thought I busted it, it seems that I've inadvertently fixed it. <sighs> I still have no idea what this rather complicated cam arrangement there is doing. It does seem to be doing it. Things move and stop move and all the rest, stop moving and all the rest of it. But whatever you do, the projector runs, whatever, whether you have it switched to 16, 0 or 2, it runs at full speed. I'm not going to worry about it, I'm just going to leave it because I don't want to run at zero frames a second and I don't want to run at two frames a second so providing it will run me at 16 I'm happy. So now I can concentrate on uh, giving it a clean and, and getting the LED lamp installed. The real one, not that little torch thing.